Hello and welcome back to the Journeyman. So before we get started, just a couple of things. Um, I had recorded the last game, uh, AJ uh, C. Kajani, um, and then realised that I'd forgot to hit record. So um, we lost 4-1, um, which meant that Kajani had been relegated, and rather than let us finish the season, the board sacked us straight away. Um, they did go on to draw the last game, but obviously if they left us in charge, we, we, we could have won that. But never mind. Um, so I've been unemployed since then. I've been trying to get another job before I come into um, the next video. But as you can see, a, a fair few months has passed. So if I just check uh, the profile, I think we were dismissed sort of like September time. And I've been applying for jobs since then, and it's now December. Uh, this does take a while to load because of the size of the database. Um, I've had probably five, seven or eight interviews. Um, let's have a look. Job history, finished ninth. Milestone sacked. Yeah, so I was sacked. He didn't tell me what month. Oh, end of September. So I've gone just just over a month um, without a job. So as I say, I've had I've had a few interviews um, that weren't successful. I've been offered a couple of jobs, but they were for teams that were sort of lower reputation. So what I've been aiming to do is trying to get a team that's at least one and a half stars or more, and aren't lower than semi professional. So I've been getting job offers from amateur teams or half star teams. Um, but I didn't want to accept them because obviously I want to build up his reputation. So what I did, um, it was time consuming. So I went on holiday and just left it to apply for jobs, which is why some of these are, uh, say applied next to them are jobs that I'm not going to take. Um, I've had offers from a lot of these that's in the um, lower echelons of English football. Um, there's a couple here in France that I have applied for myself. Uh, the one in Finland... Um, that's obviously back where we were so that wouldn't be too bad we'd get back to a team that's in the same league they finished fourth so it's not too bad if we could get that that would that would be pretty good to be fair gives us a chance to fix our reputation in Finland um, I've applied for a job in Italian Serie B I think I'll apply for that one as well those are probably too high for me to be fair um, I don't know why it does that when you apply for a job. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, so Citadella are three star, so we're unlikely to get that. And Spezia, they're also three star, so very very slim chance of getting those. Um, I've I've had a few offers from English teams, but what what I want to do at the end of the journey, man, is sort of finish in England not um, not go there now um, what what I'm worried might happen is I'll take a take a job in England and do well and then just stay in England and then it's just it's not really a journeyman season it's just a moving up the ladder in English football season which isn't the most entertaining thing to watch I, I've, I've managed plenty of teams I'm a football manager in the English leagues before so I want to do something a bit different um, so these that are sort of like accessible Oh, I might go for that one. No, it looks like I have. Never mind. So yeah, um, there's a lot of teams that aren't better than where we were. I don't really want to st step down to half-star football. I got offered a job in the Welsh Premier League. And believe it or not, they're only half-star amateur teams, which was upsetting really, because I would have taken that. So I've applied for this one in Denmark. There's a lot of three-star here that I'm not going to get. I'm unlikely to get two star jobs to be fair so I've applied for that one as well um, I think realistically we're looking at one and a half but what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep plodding away um, see if I get offered a job um, and if so I'll come back or if any kind of exciting interviews come up or anything like that I'll, I'll come in back in a while just to give you an update but I'm hoping this video we're going to find ourselves in a new job and uh, moving into a new club. So I will catch up with you when uh, we have a little bit of a development. Well, it's been five in-game months and a good 
three and a half hours, I would say, in real time. Um, but we've finally been offered a job. Um, it's free, so I'm essentially a volunteer. Um, there's no contract length, so it's rolling. Um, so it, it's not fantastic. It's also quite a drop in, well, half a star drop in reputation. However, it is amateur instead of semi professional. But one thing I did notice about it that really, really attracted it to me, and get ready for this they play at Hampden Park. They're in League Two in Scotland. They're an amateur team. Um, none of the players are on a wage, yet they play at a 52,000 seater Hamden Park. <laughs> so I thought, well, if we can take them over and do well, we could potentially turn them into a professional team and start rolling in the money. But um, I've done a bit of um, research on them, and um, it turns out that they have decided um, to... I think they, they've the club have, themselves have decided never to actually pay the players. Um, it's it's a weird thing, but I'm not sure if that's built into the game um, as to where they won't actually go professional and pay the players. So we'd have to see. Um, they didn't have a particularly great season. They've finished well. They're currently bottom. Um, there's nine games left and there's five point gap between them and Elgin um, so this is a potential another AC Kajani role where we could end up sacked at the end of the season but um, it, it's a job um, like I say we've, we've advanced five, five months in the game it's taken me three and a half hours to get to this stage I got to the point where I just wanted to take a, take a job um, I, I'd had enough um, so I, I just wanted to get back into it um, previous journeyman before we had corrupted saves we were in charge of Albion Rovers so I've got quite a um, connection to Labrooks League 2 anyway so I kind of know what I'm doing uh, so we'll have to see if we can use the last 9 games of the season to keep Queen's Park in this league otherwise in another few episodes we could potentially be looking for another job so I'm going to accept this job um, and then we can get back into the game finally it's now February we were sacked at the end of September around about the 22nd of September so it has been pretty much 5 months uh, squad wise it doesn't look too bad it's a bit thin um, but I mean they've only got one left back that I can see I'm not sure if he's yeah he's more of a right midfielder he's the only natural left back so we are a bit thin on the ground I don't know if the transfer window's open or if we just might have to get to the end of the season the way we are I can only see striker. I'm going to have to have a look at this tactic wise um, I'm going to go for my usual tried and tested TFF formation till the end of the season at least um, got a decent goalkeeper yeah right back he's not really an inverted winger Good ball playing defender there. Potentially McLaughlin, he's got a better average rating. Left back. Yep. Yeah. Defensive midfield, we've only got one of them, so we need cover there. Right wing, that's that's pretty do well covered. Box to box midfielder. Not the best. Left wing. Mm, definitely need a left winger. My first choice would be Gao, I think, but he needs a rest. So I think it's going to be McLean because he's got a better average rating again. And strikers, we don't have any advanced forwards. So we are not exactly designed well for this formation. Um, he's not really good at anything striker wise. What about Josh Peters? He'd be better as a pressing forward or a target man. So I might I might tweak it a little bit. I know this formation's proven as it is, but with nine games left, I need sort of like an immediate response. Heron must be doing well if he's wanted. He's not a bad player, 17. Already at uh, good ability, although he is at his full potential. That's a really good player, to be fair. 
Where is it? Good, good League One level. So we're likely to lose him. So I'll I'll, um, I'll move on to the next match, get everything set up. We our first game is going to be against Elgin, so we'll play that. That should well, that's a big game to start to as well. Oh wow, um, that'll really close gap on him. So we'll play this. Oh, I'll be in luck. Cool. And then we'll call it an episode because it's been quite dragged out, I would imagine. Well, here we are. It's match day. We're playing against the team that's right above us. There's a five-point gap, um, so winning would be a massive step towards staying up. Um, I need to sort of just sort of bench out. Uh, our form is actually slightly better than them, and we've been made favourites to beat them. So it, it would be nice if we could actually do it. The goal difference is quite a jump, but if we could beat them, I don't know, two 0 Put them up to 18 and us down to 19. That brings it nicely back into uh, some kind of alignment. Uh, th the squad is very thin, so my bench is just going to be hodgepodge, really. It's just a case of, well, you said pretty much everybody that's fit. So there, I'll try not to bring them to one if possible. He's not ready to play. He's not ready to play. Um. I've already got players after uh, teams after Heron, so I don't fancy my chances of keeping him. Uh, there's no links, unfortunately, so the the familiarity with this formation is not too bad. They're accomplished at least and competent, so that's not too bad. So we'll just have to see how um, how we get on. First game, thrown in at deep end, big match, pretty much same as what we had at Kajani. So we're the Reds, nice ginger player up front, can spot him from a mile off, that makes it nice and easy for me to know who's my strikers anyway. No early highlights, not a lot going on, we've had a shot, Elgin's not really done much, Daryl McCarty's been booked, who else are we looking at really, Berwick, we could catch Berwick, they're drawing nil nil with the team at top of the league, you would fancy them to lose, hopefully. It, I, I know you look at immediately Elgin's directly above us, but there's always that possibility that we might be able to catch Berwick. That's poor goalkeeping. <sighs> That's not what we wanted. Why is the gap only two points? I could swear it were five. Oh, it's us that scored. Oh, <laughs> we're in black and white. What a numpty Dave. Yeah, we're winning. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I just can't believe that. Oh, you can tell I've been at this for hours. That took me so long to register what the hell had just happened. Like, Hold on a minute, his goal difference has got better. The points gap's got smaller. Um, oh, yeah, we're the black and the white, not the reds. It's two. Get in. Come on, lads. Uh, now that I've realised that where the black and the white are, that's so important. I can't believe that. Need to cut that out of the video. Dave, Beric's losing as well. So, yeah. We're only two points behind both of them now. Goal difference, that's what I said. If we could beat them 2-0, it'd be ideal. Beat them 3-0, it's even better. But I don't want to get too, um, too ambitious. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I can just imagine comment section now. Oh, that's anybody shout, watching this video from shouting at the screens. You're not the Reds! Mm. So 2-0 up at half time. Despite me looking at the wrong team. Playing well. Keep that up. They've got the ginger strike. <laughs> that was... Uh, you can tell I've been out of a job. For, what a tackle! <laughs> you come flying in, takes the ball. Uh, this could be a good start to his, uh, his career at Queen's Park. Obviously, if we keep him up, I, I won't mind continuing. I know they're an amateur team and they're only one star, but you never know if we can improve them. And next season, maybe finishing top four, there's always that chance that we can move on to one of the other teams that aren't an amateur side and build them up. Maybe go back to Albion Rovers and carry on what we started in the other journeyman before I lost my save. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, I think 
might be good to take Reed off because he's been booked and he's a bit tired. Can't take Heron off because I haven't really got another defensive midfielder. Um, I'll leave that for now. If we can keep it to 2-0, I might give... Um, might just have to patchwork something in place for Heron. I know there were a centre-back there that said he were willing to play there, so... Penalty? Oh, free kick to them. He's going to get sent off, isn't he? What a dipstick! Ah, oh, dear me. So, I will take Heron off and put a centre-back on. Uh, you've got... You're more fit. You can go in. I suppose that helped me make a decision anyway. It's not the way I would have liked to make that decision, but never mind. Hopefully it's too late on for it to make any difference to the scoreline. But it means he's going to be suspended for the next match. We'll get a third, that'd be tasty. Don't let him counter-attack. Don't let them counter-attack. There's still three minutes left yet. <laughs> that were a good tackle or a good save. Get rid of it. Clear it, lads. That's it, just hassle him. Just hassle him. I said hassle him, not bring him down. No, at least he didn't get booked. Just, just clear it, play safe. That's not safe. Can we catch them on counter attack and get a, a last minute third goal? We can! Woohoo! 3-0! Come on the boys! Goal difference is now better! We do have Albion Rovers next as well, so they're not a massive amount in front of us. It's only four points. Six points, sorry, behind them. Fourth? Unlucky lads. I'll take this. It's a really good result, this 3-0. Against a team that we really did need to beat. I mean, all nine games are important, really, but to beat the team that's directly above you and to pull your goal difference round as well. That's, uh, couldn't have really gone much better. Blow your whistle, ref. End it. End it. I love the empty Hamden Park. That's a really, really good result, boys. Enjoyed that. Well done. 9.10 for Josh Peters. 8.3 for his strike partner. I can't really complain at that. Good result. Moving into the Albion Rovers game. Hopefully can pull something away from that as well. Results can go against Elgin. That'd be nice. Because I don't think I've got... I did have... I've got the Scotland Highland Leagues loaded, but I've set them to be unloaded from the end of this season. Because I didn't particularly want to take a job that low down. And the teams that's all that's in those leagues are all half star teams and I know I've taken an amateur job but I've still got a bit of a decent reputation. I uh, can't find him because he's just not on any wages. You want to look at Andy Heron, yeah, I thought so. So that's it. We've won three nil. We're now only two points behind Elgin, which is good going into the next episode where we shall play Albion Rovers and Annan Athletic, 6th and 7th, that's not too bad. You, you would fancy them to be winnable. I mean, what's Annan's form like? Not fantastic. So I've only won one of the last five. So it's doable. They did draw with Elgin. So, they beat us once before, but see how it goes. So we'll call that an episode there. Um, thanks for watching. I know it's been frustrating um, with the job hunt and everything, but now we can um, power on into a save with Queen's Park and hopefully keep them up and keep his job. It'd be really, really, really unfortunate to lose two jobs in within a few games because I think we were only given nine games at Kajani as well, so... Yeah, it'd be bad if we could lose if we lost both jobs so so soon into his careers. But yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. Um, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed, uh, please do leave a like. If you're new to the channel, 
do consider subscribing. Um, and if you haven't been following the the series from the beginning, um, there will be a link to the start of the epi- the start of the series at the end screen, as well as a link to the last episode if you've not seen that yet. And I'll catch you in the next one.